FileZilla Pro Series. In this video, you will learn three additional things you might not know about FileZilla and FileZilla Pro. Setting default directories. We'll show you how to connect to a specific directory of a remote site. Open Site Manager. Create a new site or choose an existing one. For new sites, fill in General Tabs parameters. Select the Advanced tab. For the default local directory, click Browse to choose the local directory. You can also enter the remote directory. You can either enter both directories or only one. Next time you connect to this site, FileZilla or FileZilla Pro will automatically display those directories. Set up Check for Updates Frequency. By default, FileZilla and FileZilla Pro check for program updates once a week and looks only for stable updates, no beta or nightly build updates. To change that, open FileZilla Settings Select Updates. You can choose how often FileZilla checks for updates. And you can also choose which versions you want to update to. We strongly recommend that you only use stable versions of FileZilla, unless you want to test new features that may not be reliable yet. Also, never disable update checks, as sometimes our updates may fix security vulnerabilities. By default, FileZilla and FileZilla Pro use any available local port for active mode you can set the range of local ports. Open FileZilla settings, select Active Mode, enable the local port range, and then enter the bottom and top of the range. In this video, you learn three additional things about FileZilla and FileZilla Pro. FileZilla Pro is fast and reliable. Plus, it supports a variety of other cloud protocols. Amazon S3, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Storage, Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, Amazon EC2, Backblaze B2, WebDAV, and SharePoint. Are your website files ready to go? Time to get your copy of FileZilla Pro. Go to FileZillaPro.com and buy it with confidence. See you at the next video of the FileZilla Pro series.